found these two on my own over a span of like three days of hunting for these. <laughs> to another freckles and pumpkins video if you are new here i would super duper appreciate if you subscribe and like on your way out it helps me tremendously and i would love to have you back um for today's video we're going to be talking about my favorite spooky items that i own i'm talking halloween decor everyday house decor and just my favorite spooky things that i have um i'm going to give you a little bit of backstory on them tell you where I got them and just that sort of thing. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to start with the big one. Um, everybody has seen this. If you're part of the spooky community, this is the Cracker Barrel Resin Ghost. Um, so the year that it was like a big hot ticket item, I couldn't find him. Everybody was getting him and reselling him and I couldn't find him. But the following year, that summer, I was on my way home from Tennessee. I live in Virginia. I was on my way home from Tennessee and someone in a spooky group I'm in had posted that they found him finally at Cracker Barrel. And so it was July, I was on my way home. We had just driven eight hours and we stopped and I got him. I finally got him the year after he was like the big deal. So I cherish him. Next are these little ghosties. Um, my sister got them for me. They were like just a little gift in October and she got them from TJ Maxx. I leave them in my kitchen. I kind of do like a ghost theme um, for Halloween in my kitchen. So these little guys go in my kitchen and I love them. I got this guy in like, I want to say like 2020, 2021. Um, I simply call him Skull Boy for obvious reasons. Uh, he is one of my favorites. He has cat hair on him, <laughs> but he is one of my favorites. I get him out every year and put him on my entryway table, on my living room shelves. I just, I, I adore him. I think he is so cute. I got him at Target. Next are these little pumpkins. I got them at At Home. The store is called At Home. If you don't have one, I'm not saying, like, I got them at home. I got them at At Home. Um, I have Spook On Witches and Ghostly Greetings. I just, I think they're so cute. And I got them for $3.99 a piece. Um, I just love them. Also, I'm sorry if you hear, like, background noise. I have my windows and my door open because it's super nice out today. Um, but yeah. These little pumpkins are adorable. Next are the Halloween McDonald's buckets from last year. I, there's stuff in them because I keep stuff in them, but I found these two on my own over a span of like three days of hunting for these. No, I found these two on my own. No. <laughs> I found these two on my own. I had to get that straight. This one, I could not find. It was it was impossible to find. So my friend Ari, Ari, if you're watching, hello. She mailed this to me and I mailed her the witch because I got the witch like three times. I just kept getting it. But she mailed me the pumpkin and the ghost, I just stumbled across him luckily at one of my mcdonald's i keep them on top of my tube tv in my bedroom um with all of my like halloween vhs's and halloween dvds um i'm not going to be showing any of them in this video i might do like another video on that if you're interested comment and let me know um i don't want to make it if you're like no but yeah i love these so this salem poison bottle um my mom got me this she got it for me for Christmas, and here is the tea on that. So I was supposed to go to Salem in October of 2018, um, but I got in a car accident, a like near fatal car accident. Um, I was on life support and all of the things, and um, I didn't get to go to Salem, needless to say. Um, so when I got out of the hospital, this happened at the beginning of October. It was like October 8th, I think the accident was. So when I got out of the hospital, I canceled my trip and I was super bummed. We had been saving for months. It was just me and Nick at that point. We didn't have the babies yet. 
Um, and like it was a lot of saving because Nick was working at Goodwill. I was working three days a week at a medical center. Um, it was a lot of saving and we had to cancel and I was devastated. So my mom that Christmas bought me all spooky Halloween gifts. I looked up there because I have more up there. But she bought me all spooky Halloween gifts. And this one just means a lot because I was supposed to go to Salem. And yeah, so that's the story with this. Why I will cherish it and love it forever. Because it was just so great that my mom did that for me. Um, it meant a lot because the crash just just ruined so many things. Um, <laughs> so many things. But yeah. Next is this little Danny Denison Funko Pop. Um, I got her from Spirit Halloween last year. She's holding Binks and I keep her on my dresser by my Xbox. My Xbox, I have Hocus Pocus stickers all over it. So she just fits there. Um, and every time I go to play, she's just so cute. She makes me happy. I love it. Um, I wish I would have gotten Billy Butcherson and like the Sanderson Sisters trio that they had, but I didn't maybe this year um but i love her in the meantime she is my favorite the last thing i'm going to show you is just this little pumpkin tea light holder i got it from dollar tree um i think it is so cute i love putting it like on the edge of my bath when i take baths in october with a little tea light in it i just i have a little ghost tea light holder too i would show you it but I'm not positive where it is. <laughs> I think it's in the hall closet, maybe. I don't know. But he's adorable and I love him. Let me see if I can find the ghost. I didn't find the ghost, but I'm not going to let this video end without showing the witch hand candle holder because this is another item that I didn't get the year that like everybody got it. This is another item that I got a year later and I think that's just gonna be the trend with me in these trends because I just, I can't find them the years that everyone wants them. Um, I guess I have a really big spooky community here around me and they don't have kids. So they, <laughs> they go find the things very quickly. Um, but I got this a year after and I it stays out on my interview table year round because I worked too hard to find this thing to pack it away. So she holds my candles. I also have the soap holder in my kitchen um, that holds the soap. And then I have the witch hand pocket back holder on my purse that holds my sanitizer. So I kind of feel like I have like the infinity stones of witch hands and I love them. So that is my spooky items video for you. Um, if you liked it, please like this video. Um, please comment and let me know what you want to see next. I am so open to all of your ideas and I would love to make something that you will enjoy. So just let me know and thank you so much for watching.